Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. When I'm off YouTube, I post some stories on Instagram. When I shared the moringa tree last time on Instagram and in one of the blogs published a week back, many of you had requested for some recipes to prepare with it. The moringa tree from which we get the moringa leaves is very nutritious and has lots of benefits to our body. We prepare this in many ways: curry with just the leaves, with dal or as a side dish, adding coconut. I used to eat this most of the days when I was a nursing mother. If you are lactating, do add this in your diet. It helps in increasing the milk production. Only the leaves are removed from the stem, and it takes a bit of practice to get the leaves alone. There's a special way how we remove the leaves alone. You can use yellow lentils or the dal we normally use for dal curries. I have a recipe done and will share the link below. Today, the sister who helps me in cooking at home is preparing with horse gram. She has washed it well and drained the horse gram in a strainer. You need to roast the horse gram on medium flame preferably in an iron kadai to get the good aroma and taste. Do not burn it. Keep roasting till light brown color and you start hearing the crackling sound. We do have a small vegetable garden which you might have seen in my previous vlogs. My in-laws used to take care of it when we were away and we have a gardener too. So these okras or the lady's fingers are from the home garden. Once the host gram has cooled down a bit, just pulse few times in a mixer until you get a coarse powder. You need to get a bite of it when you have the curry so don't make it to a fine powder. Add that to a pressure cooker with some water. Add a bit of turmeric powder. You need to cook this for 3 to 4 whistles on medium flame. The coconut paste for the curry is a mix of green chilies, cumin seeds, shallots and grated coconut. Add some water and make a paste. The side dish with okra is a very simple yet delicious one to have with rice. It's frying okra pieces in hot coconut oil. Then add green chilies and some spices, red chili powder and turmeric powder. The horse crumb is cooked. Add some salt and the moringa leaves. and let the curry boil let the leaves get cooked now it's time to add the coconut paste add some more hot water if needed let it just reach the boiling point and you can switch off the flame for tempering the curry fry some sliced shallots in coconut oil and add to the curry and this is a delicious healthy curry you can have for lunch with rice or roti whatever you prefer
I badly wanted a stand for my laptop to avoid the heating. Hence bought this stand. This might be helpful for some of you hence sharing this. This is small yet very strong, a slim aluminum metal stand. You can adjust the height on itself. I bought this from Amazon and shall share the link below. You may check out if you need. Stick it this way. You can adjust the height in two ways. These are other products bought to clean the screen and keyboard of my laptop. This is a gel spray with a small cloth inside. There's a microfiber cloth and a tiny brush to clean. Cleaning my camera lens as well. It's lunch time. It's very refreshing and relaxing when we are with our parents and I just love the moment we step into our parents home or which is our home filled with childhood memories. I just need to give a phone call to my mom telling we are coming and the table gets filled with snacks. Mostly it would be with traditional home cooked snacks that's locked with flavors. That's dates cake which I already have put a recipe of it 2 years back as Christmas special video. It's very soft and tasty. That's a mix of coconut and jaggery filled in rice roti. We call it ilayada. The recipe for this coming up, so do check out. I had put a story on Instagram on the same snack prepared by the sister who comes home. Hence I requested her to prepare again so that I could take a video of it and show you all. This is the leaf in which the rice roti is pressed. We call it puduvanni leaf. It's known in different names in different parts. It has got a unique flavor just like banana leaf. This is a rice dough prepared by mixing hot boiling water to rice flour with some salt. You need to melt 4 pieces of jaggery with quarter cup water. Add grated coconut to the melted jaggery. Remove the skin of few cardamoms and crush the seeds alone. My mom adds a bit of poha or flattened rice to the mix. You need to mix well and cook till it becomes thick. So this is the consistency you need and let it cool down. As it sits, it will become more thick. Take a handful of the dough and spread it on the leaf as per its shape. If you don't have the leaf, you can cook it in a baking paper or aluminium foil.
Spread the jaggery mix on each and close. Use a steamer for cooking. Steam for 15 to 20 minutes. This is the remaining mix of the coconut and it's just yum. Once it's cooked, it's ready to serve. Have it warm or cold. It's very delicious. So that ends for today's video. Hope you loved it and if so, do give a thumbs up. Do try these recipes and let me know your feedback. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.